Hey guys, everything new under the sun here. I hope this works. Um, hope I'm not going to be talking for nothing. I want to do a quick review, and this is a uh, you know I just downloaded uh, this software, Camtasia uh, uh, screencast and video editing, and I wanted just to have a look at it uh, briefly. A couple of thoughts uh, first off. Uh, the I was thinking of using it. Uh, I wanted to check out the green screen capabilities of it, and it does do green screen, although it doesn't do green screen differently than iMovie. So that's one thing to note. I was hoping it would do, uh, uh, you know, a fancy cheap green screen where you would just let it record what's behind you. Uh, you know, you move out of the frame, record what's behind you, move back into the frame, and then it would wipe out what's behind you based on the, the photo that it took or whatever. I've seen that before, and eh, it's a little cheesy, but it's super simple. And, you know, if if you're just uh, uh, making little videos, um, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on green screen. Uh, it doesn't do that. I was disappointed at that. Uh, another issue I found is that, as you can see here, um, I'm exporting a video that I just did, um, videoing my Neck Your Store backup, and I don't see an option to uh, continue making videos or um, working on videos. In iMovie, um, I can work on a video, start it exporting, and then I can start putting together a new video, and then start it exporting, and it gets, it gets all queued up. It does one video at a time, um, but it allows you to keep working on videos as you go, so you can queue up five and just keep, you know, five or ten or whatever, just keep going. This one, it's locking me out. Just this is just like the old iMovie on uh, my MacBook, my original 2006 MacBook, um, where it would do one video at a time. You would have to you put the clips together, you would export it, wait for it to finish exporting, then you can start working on a new video. That, this is a very uh, huge, uh, this is this is not good for Camtasia. I wouldn't use it just for this because I, I cannot go back to doing one video at a time. Uh, and with the latest iMovie and uh, whatever I got with El Capitan, whatever it was before that, um, not Leopard, but Anyways, uh, the, the newer version of it, I think it's 11 maybe, um, allows you to uh, keep queuing things up and continue to work while it's exporting. Um, and that's key, you know, in, t in terms of workflow and time savings. So that that's a that's a no uh, that's a deal breaker right there. The other thing I noticed is that uh, I didn't easily find uh, one uh, common place for media. Uh, when I went to create a new project, it would give me a blank slate, and I couldn't find my original media up here, um, you know, all the old media. So it looks as though you have to import uh, media for each project. Maybe there's a way around that, um, but um, I thought that was a little odd and not not real easy to use like iMovie. And since it doesn't do any different green screen than iMovie, <clears throat> I don't think this is going to be advantageous to me especially not for the 120 bucks that Camtasia is so uh, the green screen nothing fancy there it only does the sequential uh, video exporting you can't continue to work uh, that's a deal breaker for me um, you know the rest of it looks okay it looks like it's got all the other features I haven't looked at transitions and animations and such but you know it's got all that kind of stuff and gesture effects and video effects and there's some cool stuff there um, but yeah, that uh, the workflow of not being able to uh, create videos uh, one after the other and queue them up and have it exporting a bunch at the same time, that's a deal breaker. So that's my short review of the uh, Camtasia uh, screencast and video editing uh, software. Um, it's not going to work for me.